Yo, 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 what's going on, everybody? So today is an awesome day. 3D Realms has decided to drop us a 1v1 PvP of Tempest Rising between the developers here. We're going to go ahead and check this out right here. Now, before we begin, though, if you guys can definitely consider liking and subscribing, that would be very much appreciated. Now, let's go ahead and head on the video. All right, now that we're back in the saddle, let's go ahead and check out this Tempest Rising 1v1 gameplay here. I have a little bit of time to show you guys uh, a bit more about what base building looks and feels like. I'm also going to show you some cool things up close so you can see what the different units in the game yeah look really like, really great details here and so on um and then we're gonna just battle it out and see who wins okay so first off let's see here he's you start with five infantry units that's really cool they're you know you have the tempest right there and then you have this unit here that has like a drone on it i'm guessing it's some type of drone unit where you can use the so drone to, to like for search for around or something like that and a half and see this match play out but uh he's putting but a power hopefully plant. it'll be uh, a good in-depth walkthrough of what a match in Tempest Rising uh, feels like and looks like. Okay. Um, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'll stop talking now and then uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started here with uh, with a 1v1 against uh, me and Brandon. All right. Hello and welcome. I'm Brandon Castile, the lead game About designer of Tempest Rising. I'm so excited to be able to bring you our first ever taste of 1v1 gameplay in our game. This match was recorded by Fred and myself yeah, for demonstration purposes, up there? and we wanted to be able Remember to show you a lot of different aspects of the gameplay. I truly hope you enjoy this sneak peek in Is he Tempest picking Rising. Up, yeah, he just picked up a resource Let's get there. Started. Fred and I really wanted the gameplay to speak for itself, but I will be interjecting from time to time with light commentary or some other potential tidbits about the game design or what's going on in the game that you're watching right now. As you can see, we provide players with the option to start out with a small force in the beginning of a multiplayer yeah. mm -hmm. match okay. to allow for scouting and other kinetic so one interactivity unique that, while you get started. That you can see here is that the harvester will show you like, if it's full or not, which is really cool. So what you see here might change a bit before you get your hands on it, but I'm currently happy with this direction, eager to hear feedback on it. Okay. Also, I'm not sure if you noticed this, but this map has a couple of resource crates sprinkled here and there in various nooks and crannies, another thing we're experimenting with. Okay, you know, I like that idea, but I hope that, like, they, uh, I wish it, I kind of wish it'll depend on the map, though, maybe. Because especially if you're, if you're not a, if you're, let's say, a as new player, I mean, we'll here. all be new. As if you're a veteran tempest, player in the game, you'll take a use, behind. like, abuse of that pretty These quickly. These vines will eventually bear like, additional a player, you know. But only if they're not too far away from the living pod. If vines aren't close to a pod, they will die off, which makes the plant take longer to come back. Also, as you leave Tempest alone, it will mature over time the pods growing and becoming worth more when harvested. This Tempest ecology is very important to us, both in terms of flavor and balancing. Okay, so what he said there was this. If you were to deplete all the Tempest in that area, then, um, well, let's say you don't deplete it. Let's say you deplete it by like 75%. If you leave it alone a bit, it'll regrow itself, right? Now, let's say if you deplete, if you deplete all of it in that area, then the Tempest will take basically like a really long time to, in a sense, recharge or regrow back. But when it does regrow back, it will grow back stronger. So that's really kind of cool. Option. At least that's, that's how I interpret it. Construction complete. Unit ready. So those must be silos. Vehicle bay. As you guys know, silos help uh, get more resources. Unit ready. Uh, or to hold more resources. So one thing I, I can say for sure is that the environment, guys, is amazing. It, like, brings you into, like, this universe, and I'm all for it. Just look at how, like, the streets are messed up, everything is, how a post apocalyptic feel. It just seems, it just great. And here we see Fred making the approach into the Dynasty base. Sadly for him, I was ready with the Pillager of GDF and Dynasty. I don't think they showed off their third faction yet. The flame, this flamethrower looks amazing. Mine's, the dynasty reminds me so much of Nod. Well, I guess it's just a color scheme. Okay, so I was right though. So I was like, I was right that this unit here was here to is able to use the drone here to go scout. And I'm guessing it's around He's that circle. Trying to scout up that hill, but I, I deny feel like that him should be that. like a, that radius should uh, be a bit bigger. Of course, those drones do rebuild themselves after a brief time. Because like I don't want to have that that guy like hiding somewhere unless you can get like a stealth ability. Uh, and like veteran, if they have, I, I need to check to see if they have like a veteran C coming on through in the game. Yep, so like, I, I was correct, that was a silo here. 
uh, Harvester, Three. Harvester Tank. So the Sentinel here, Fast Scout, attacks air and, and ground targets. You can swap to, let's see, marking grounds. Mark enemies, generate intel when killed. Ooh. But I wonder if the marking grounds do less damage, though. That's the question. Constructing. So it looks like he's going ahead and building defenses, you know, making sure that his base just doesn't get rushed, which is pretty smart. You know, he's going to try to have a balance between defense and offense. So I'm guessing um, Tempest area, or, you know, uh, the pauses are, you know, kind of rare. Well, not rare, but like few. So those are the veins there that showcasing. But I wonder if you were to go to an opponent's vein and destroy it and like, Oh, God, like, no, that'd be kind of cool if you were to like destroy a vein. Would it take a while to like, re like you know, to come back while like you're able to freely harvest? Construction complete. So he's building some tanks here. Those are hunter tanks. This is the hunter tank. It is a high tech, long range, versatile part of the GDF's offensive force. Fred pushing out, going past our. Tempest rigs Ooh. doing some harvesting. Little defensive force there as well. So I wonder if those are. Di I'm guessing those are Dynasty harvest uh, harvesters. So they're like really quick. Oh. And that's their refineries. Okay, let's look, look, look see what the refineries are. Yeah, that must be their like scout vehicles potentially. Now oh, look at that engineer going inside the refinery. That's what it looks like. Garrison, get it in. The amount of details on the units is just crazy. Like, certain units, some units they stand up and fire, while the others they kneel, which is really cool. Some even go prone. Yeah, look at that. He's prone. You got the the Sentinel tanks here or Hunter tanks attacking the refinery. It looks, I believe. Yeah, that's gonna take a while. Like, I would use like a different unit to like blow that up. More DPS. Acknowledge. Ooh, ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Let me hold on. Let me back that up real quick. Did he just run them over? Hold on. Hold on. Oh no, he did. Yes, yes. I had to. Ca I barely caught that. Yes. <laughs> I like that. So bigger tanks can run. Get certain units over. It's pretty cool. All right. Phew. I was able to push Fred back, but not without some losses. Now Fred is building a satellite uplink, one of the GDF's tech structures. And this okay. is the Sentinel, a fast anti-infantry and anti-air scouting unit with the ability to equip a secondary weapon that marks enemy units. Okay, you so... Can see that driving through that Tempest has built up an electrical charge on the Sentinels. I wonder what's up with that. Yeah, I do too. But look, now look here though, look at what I noticed here. Right, with these Sentinels. Well, this is just in general, like a lot of developers don't really do this, but like I like it when they take the extra time to put in environmental stuff like this. So like, you see these Sentinels here, they drive over trees or knock them down. Not a lot of developers tend to do that, which is kind of cool. You can see that driving through that tempest has built up like an electrical that. charge on the Sentinels. Oh, it's more I games. what's up with you that. Know, just little stuff like that, you know, into consideration. But remember, these Sentinels are scout are basically scout units from the description, and they're anti-air and also anti -air. So they'll be. Okay, ish take down ish infantry, but they're, I guess they're like here. I feel like they're like here once here too. So they can do their job, but you know they're not there to like fully you know be part of your army like that. I guess it's it. But he's trying to get a charge here. It looks like. Yeah, y'all dump that tempest. So he's building defenses right now. Laser turn, Gatling turn. So I'm guessing there's a difference. I need to see next time he chooses one. I want to see if there's like a difference. Between them. Okay, 
Uh, of course, right there, he built the gate. Unit lost. Barracks, primary, data core. What is a data core? Okay, data core unlocks the most advanced units and support powers for the GDF. It generates a small amount of intel over time. Okay, that's cool. Constructing. Battle control offline. Training. Command, wait, what is that command rig? What is that? What is that? What is that? Command rig. Metal control off offline. Combat support vehicle plants anti vehicle minefields and made the let's see, deploy and provide comms in a large radius protect the belt. Oh, that's Training. cool. Okay. I like that. So, you want to defend a certain section, you want to use that. So, that's like a thing I would definitely use, you know, throwing down like at a choke point, you know, vehicle, like, because, you know, hopefully the other player will well, see it. I'm gonna say if they do see it, they see it like late. And that's all I'm hoping. Unit ready. Construction complete. Our base is under attack. Oh, okay, it's coming for the fourth push. Oh man, what a time to overdraw your power. The scout vehicles. Sorry, Fred. I mean, your defenses weren't ready though, bro. You're getting there. I mean, the Gatling gun's doing some damage. A really strong push. And you know what's crazy that Tempest Rising looks so good, but it's like EA. You don't want to bring back Command and Conquer to like this right here? This is amazing. <laughs> but I love this too. This is great. Okay, okay, look at, so I'm guessing the Gatling laser, oh, the Gatling gun is only good against infantry for the most part. So it's like, I mean, he's doing damage, but it's not going to do damage. And maybe the like the laser system is probably good against like I mean mid tier vehicles. Cause right, he's getting smoked. Well, that was a good push. Now I, he should get greedy and go back. <laughs> yeah, see the Gatling. Look at that. It's doing major damage to the infantry, but it's about to go down. Okay, grenade turn here. Anti infantry turn fires grenades in the deal area. Damage. Okay, cool. I like. That. Then he has, okay, that's the grenade turn. There's gonna be two of those. Yo, these are harvester low, man. Wait, I'm wondering, does it, are they even harvester or over? <laughs> so, uh, he's, it's repairing, but it's not repairing as quickly as it should be. <laughs> he's struggling around, he's trying, man, he's trying. At least we got that one turn alive. Yep, look at that. Boom. Okay, that's cool. Got him off. Mm. Okay, it does some decent damage to the to the uh, to the dynasty tanks. Yeah, it was some decent damage. Not too bad. So it looks like he's he's won that engagement. Now it's time for him to make like this major push here. You know that should have been a lot of resources used on the uh, on that push that uh Brandon uh, or I'm sorry Fred did. Constructing. Unit ready. Construction complete. Unit ready. Got it. Got it. So what is this unit here? Unit ready. What is the name of this vehicle hit this new vehicle here that I see? So we got the hunter tank, of course. We got the okay, it's called a trebuchet. So I'm guessing that has uh, trebuchet is it's a siege unit. I'm guessing it's siege, some type of siege. Or long distance uh, long distance. Okay. His veins are actually almost running out. Did he get a, stop, a harvester to stop right now? 
we have our first drone mauler hitting the field. This is a heavy infantry that is pretty useful. Has a drone two mauler. drones. It can stealth while immobile, and it packs a heck of a punch. It can stealth while immobile. Okay. I like that. Oh, yeah, he's going for this. This is going to be a push, push. Uh-oh. Yikes. One thing I have to notice that I have noticed, guys, is the pathfinding is pretty darn good. Now, I don't know, like, if it's supposed to be, like, if it's scripted. We call this wrong, beautiful little but defense. But from what I see here, array. I like the pathfinding. Not, Not only is it a stealth detector, but its weapon builds up tempest charge on vehicles in its radius. I get a kick out of it every time I see it in action. So apparently this building here, here, let's repeat that I was talking over here. Let me go ahead and repeat that, I'm sorry. Your array. Go ahead and back it up a little bit further. Oh, right here. Come in. Are you get ready? We call this beautiful little defense the sensor array. Not only is it a stealth detector, but its weapon builds up tempest charge on vehicles in its radius. I get a kick out of it every time I see it in action. Oh, okay. Pretty cool. I hope, I hope he's, uh, friend is still making uh, more units while well. these guys are getting destroyed. Yep, like I, as I thought, that trebuchet here, it looks like it can go from tank mode to siege mode. Now, see here, it, when it shoots out in the sky, it's really like an AOE, a big AoE blast, which is really cool. Flamethrower turn. Anti infantry question mark? Come on. Okay. <laughs> Yo, that laser hooked him alive. That is cool. Now, this is a generator, it seems. If I recall, the dynasty is able to change its production from like, I get like from normal to like fast, but I need to, I need to look up on that again. So my question is, can you make forward bases? That's my question here. I'm guessing you can by making another command uh, vehicle. Now look at that animation there on the, the trebuchet. Really nice animation. All right, Fred, you must be building up, bro. What you got? Mm. Looks like those cannons are overheating. No, 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 they're just firing, but they turn. Okay. Well, they're anti, they're anti structure for the most part, so. Oh, wow. He was really making production here. Oh, my gosh. This should be the, the end right here. So he clicked on the map. So let's look at the path anywhere. Path and takes. So it looks like the Pathfinder split both, um, split both his armies or whatnot. Okay, yeah, it looks like the tip is charged. Unit ready. All right, see that they don't do the answer to the buildings. I think it's trickling. Wow, he's pushing. He pushed on the way too hard. Yeah, I don't think he recovered for this. Ain't no way. <laughs> My man had a riot shield. Okay. Yeah, get him. Man, bro, what happened? Ready. What happened? Oh no! <laughs> Go ahead, search for him. You gotta search for him because he probably has another four. That's probably just one base. 
All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Look forward to more of these sometime in the future. Okay. All right, so that's how much we're gonna watch right there. All right, so after watching that gameplay there, let me know what you guys think of Tempest Rising so far. To me, I love it, and I wish to, and I well, not wish, I want to see more of it. I want to see more of the dynasty. I want to see their aspects. I want to see that the, this third mysterious faction that they're going to show off too. I cannot wait for this. Um, to me, I feel like this is a a good start to like more modern RTS games. Hopefully, EA can wake up too. We can start getting more like you know Command and Conquer games. Hell, what if we can get a Star Wars game in the style of Command and Conquer as well, or uh, Tempest Rising? But you know, just these just ideas to throw it out. But yeah, let me go. Uh, let me blah, blah, blah. let me know, guys, in the comment section below what you believe and what you think of Tempest Rising. Thank you guys for watching this video. Much appreciate if you guys enjoyed this video. Please we get definitely consider liking and subscribing. Peace out. See y'all next time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and also hit the bell notification down below. Thanks for watching.